Sauvage with Allah. Today's Sauvage is a racially ambiguous man, but the story ain't about his race. It's about the bizarre way he helped Donald win his presidential race. Didn't you ever ask yourself, how did Make America Great Again storm its way into sweatshops and stamp itself onto hats and voting ballots? Look no further. BBC calls this Sauvage the Trumpeteer. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Isaiah Jose Muhammad. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, little gift. Thanks for having me on the show. Here you go. Classic P90. Uh, let's get straight to it, Isaiah. All right, uh, who do you guys hate the most? Starting with a softball. The blacks, of course. Call me Captain Obvious. Uh, how about the second most, maybe? That's a tough one. Obviously, I hate Muslims and Mexicans. Uh, those are mutually exclusive, bro, but continue, please. Second most is the ambiguous. Ambiguous. Just like you. Like me. That's right. Because I don't know how to I, I hate him. I, just, I, I don't know how to hate him. Do I hate him like an Arab or do I hate him like a Jew? I mean, look at you. Your hair is curly and it's falling out too. I'm leaning towards Jew. God damn it, I need another clue. Too ambiguous. I still hate you. I just can't pin down my strategy. Hey, aren't you ambiguous yourself? No, sir. I used to be ambiguous until I found myself through my values. You found yourself through your values. That's right. Shoot, buddy. No, I can't. I I'd love to shoot you. I, I, just, I just can't do it with the cameras and television. You're not worth going to jail for. Although, if you were a ram, I'd probably be acquitted. What we are saying, Isaiah, is tell the people what your values are, because we're very curious. Oh, sorry, so, sorry, I, I understand. Uh, <clears throat> the values, number one, if I can't have it, play victim. Number two, if I can't have it, play villain. Okay. And number three, if white ain't right, God damn it, brother, we're still right. Wow. Wow. Uh, that does just about sum up American society right there, bro. God bless America. Yeah, well, uh, listen. Uh, us Americans can clearly see you've not only sold your soul, buddy, but millions in apparel, okay? Uh, and you've also somehow garnered millions of votes for the Donald. And we are curious, how did you do it, bro? It's real easy. All you gotta do is vote. And buy this $26 hat and get yourself appointed one for free. So you rewarded voters with the KKK hoodies. I was gonna give away free guns. Wow, uh, aren't you a cop, bro? Yeah. No, sir. So you're a poser. Why are you wearing a cop shirt? Because blue lives matter to some of us. Hey, yeah, blue lives matter to all of us, bro. It's just it's not the only color a lot of us care about, all right? More relevantly to this conversation, okay? Size and style matters to a lot of us, too. And that's clearly a 2X from Party City, you bigot. Party City. How yeah, dare, bro. How dare yeah, you? Bro. How dare you? Yeah, bro. <laughs> You. Done, you idiot. You. We gotta shut this down. Born again, bigot. Isaiah Muhammad. Not to ever be confused with Muhammad Ali, R.I.P. Alright, or Rasulullah. Jamal Mubarak. We'll see you next time. Hey, cut it. Hey, Go to hell, you Junior. You and Juma. We didn't need this. Go back to your country. You and you and you and you. blowing up. Down my ratings are gonna sure. plummet, bro. Blow yourself up. You're not hollow either. You're not white, bro. Not white. Not white, bro. You look. Out of my country. Man, your dad's name is Hernandez. Shoot you. Hey, bro. Fuck you. Think you're the only one that know how to use.